Muy buenos días. El día de hoy, segundo día de Congreso, les damos la bienvenida a cada uno de ustedes, muy en especial a nuestros participantes y exponentes. El día de hoy, con la gracia de Dios, estamos nuevamente en esta aventura, digamos, del conocimiento. Bueno, vamos a presentar a Luis. Luis, muy buenos días. Hola, Susi, ¿cómo estás? Buenos días. Muy bien, Luis, el día de hoy, nuevamente aquí, listas o listos todos para este día tan espectacular también que tenemos. Ayer ya tuvimos el primer día, espero que les haya gustado, lo hicimos con mucho cariño. El día de hoy y los siguientes va a ser de la misma manera. Bueno, es todo Amén. tuyo el escenario. Adelante, Luis. Gracias, Susi. Eh, Gino irá a compartir la diapositiva o las comparto yo. Puedes compartirlo si lo tienes para que sea más fácil, eh, lo puedas mover. Vamos Solo lo ver. tienes como respaldo. Oh, ok, ok, ok. Déjame ver cómo es que... Ay, qué pena porque pensaba que... Share screen, déjame ver si por aquí, share screen, files. Yo en el año 2017 tuve un accidente en el que me fracturó un pie y se me generó una artrosis traumática en el tobillo izquierdo. Eh, y bueno, aprendí a vivir con mi, con mi artrosis. Eh, aún, digamos, la tengo en cierto nivel, pero gracias a que descubrí este tema, realmente ha mejorado muchísimo la situación. Eh, Vamos a hacer, le voy a dar una pequeña muestra. A ver, se me parece, ya. Les voy a dar una pequeña muestra. Ahora, no piensen que con esto se van a transformar de un momento para el otro. ¿sí? Hay varias uh, prácticas, varios niveles, como digo. Entonces, para muestras yo les voy a dar la básica, ¿sí? Porque para las otras hay que... Personas que hicieron posible este maravilloso congreso, a felicitarlos en el esfuerzo tan grande que han hecho para poder llegar a todos ustedes y agradecerles por haberse tomado el tiempo de escucharme. Muchísimas gracias y namaste. Un agradecimiento especial para el doctor Rojas. Lamentablemente él está en una reunión, o mejor dicho, en una capacitación, donde él hizo un sobreesfuerzo, como habrán podido notar, la, el sonido que está de fondo no ha sido de nosotros, sino solo para aclararlo, porque mucha gente nos llamaba que apaguen el ruido, pero si apagábamos el ruido, también apagábamos el video. Entonces, eh, él de verdad hizo un esfuerzo muy grande para estar presente el día de hoy y para cumplir con ustedes que estaban participando en este cuarto congreso. Muchas gracias. Espero, doctor, cuando usted vea este esta repetición o la grabación realmente le agradezco de todo corazón ese esfuerzo y esa calidad humana y sobre todo el contenido de su de su tema muchas gracias vamos a dar pase al a la siguiente participante ellos vienen de de Estados Unidos también entonces, el día de hoy nos van a tratar un tema muy bonito que se llama El secreto de la salud espiritual. Bien, vamos a, a esperar el enlace. No sé si alguien quiera conversar mientras tanto. Este, Mayra Fajardo, que acaba de presentar recién, que tiene la verdad. Ella dice que, buenas tardes, pertenezco al equipo médico de los parques de la salud de los dos rojos. Si tienen alguna pregunta, con mucho gusto, les colaboro. Bueno, gracias. Ah, okay. I am here. Uh, can you, you have ready the monitor for you, Heather? Uh, hi. Hi. hi How name. are you? Heather, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, yeah, yes, we're starting now. Yes, go ahead, please. Okay. Well, um, regarding the, the focus of, of the secrets of spiritual healing, um, first I want to share a little bit about myself. Uh, I'm, I'm a, a spiritual teacher 
and I practice, uh, well, what, what initially happened to me was a long time ago, uh, over 20 years ago, I went in a library and I just inwardly asked to my, inwardly, what am I ready for now? And my hand reached out and touched a book. And when it touched a book, I had this profound out-of-body experience. It was just this flash of this heaven, this world of pure light that went on forever. And since that day, I've been studying for several decades out-of-body travel. Um, to, today, the topic is uh, the secrets of spiritual healing, which is a, a beautiful topic, especially when you need healing. <laughs> so, um, Please help, help me to tra translate, please. Oh, sure. Can I, you okay. I said yeah. too much noise. Sorry. It's all right. It's okay. Uh, Chisa, ella es una maestra espiritual y que empezó su jornada hace 20 años. Ella entró en una biblioteca y tocó un libro que hablaba de todo lo que era espiritualidad. Y al tocar ese libro, ella tuvo una experiencia muy profunda, lo que la ha llevado a estudiar y a empezar su jornada en la parte espiritual. Go ahead, please. Gracias, thank you. Um, out of body travel is similar to like near death experience, where someone has a traumatic experience and then as soul, they hover above their body like a bird. And as soul, they then experience heaven very often. And for from my experience, that it's, it's a huge thing to be able to do that when you're in the process of healing. Uh, you can share a uh, translate. <laughs> sure. Eh, dice ella que ha tenido experiencias muy cercanas a la muerte y que aves de alguna manera le han dado algunos mensajes. Entonces ella quiere compartirlo con todos nosotros. Go ahead, Heather, please. Gracias. Well, um, just to give an example of spiritual healing, on, on one occasion, I was, I was, I became extremely ill. My husband and I moved uh, next to some devices, smart meters, and immediately he was hospitalized and immediately I became so ill that I couldn't work for a long time. I can translate that part. Sí, ella, es, ella, ella y su esposo estuvieron cerca de unos aparatos y ellos estuvieron muy, muy enfermos. Él estuvo enfermo y ella también. Go ahead, please. I felt like I was dying. And, and at that time, my husband, he came to me and he said, he said that I should practice a, a out of body travel technique. So, which was to basically sort of use the visualization and chanting high vibration words. And I would meet certain very high level masters and they would escort me into from a boat into a temple of healing you can do that part <laughs> sure y entonces eso hizo que ellos tuvieran unas experiencias de sanación espiritual muy grandes eh, su esposo le le dijo que tenían que hacer un un viaje afuera del cuerpo para poder sanarse Entonces fueron a un templo en otra dimensión de altos niveles dimensionales y ahí tuvieron una sanación. Go ahead, please. And I went inside this glowing temple of light and I would go inside this glowing temple of light and be escorted to a healing table where I would lay down and that light and sound like this pure light and sound of God, the Varden, which is divine spirit, the voice of God, would flow through my physical body, my astral body, causal body, flow through my lower bodies to heal me as I as soul would hover above in a much higher level of heaven called the God worlds, the pure positive God worlds. 
you can show that. Entonces llegaron a ese templo y a, a ella la acostaron en una mesa, pero había una música celestial muy, muy bella. Entonces esto hizo que entraran aún, aún más a altos niveles de espiritualidad. Go ahead, please. Now, I was so extremely sick that I had a very short attention span. Only a, a couple seconds. I could do this exercise at a time. So I did it over and over again. And it was very difficult. Sometimes I even had to put hot water on my head as I was doing it because I was in pain. And... Entonces, oh, I'm sorry. Entonces, ella dice que estuvo muy, muy enferma. Y, y que fue empezando a hacer ejercicio poco a poco, pero que fue realmente, realmente extremadamente difícil y que a veces tenía que ponerse paños calientes. Go ahead, please. So, after, because, because I could only do it for a few moments at a time, it went slower. But after a few months of doing that, I suddenly awoke with an inner experience where I saw, I work with a, a, a spiritual master uh, who was God realization on the inner planes. And he was picking particle by particle the illness off of my head and off of me. And then immediately the next day, I had a recovery. I recovered and I could, was well enough to return to work after a year <laughs> of, of not being able to work. Entonces dice ella que tuvo una experiencia interna muy, muy grande espiritual y que fue un maestro, un maestro que vino a darle esa sanación. Después de un año, ella pudo recuperarse. Go ahead, please. Out of body travel for inner healing is the ability to realize that as soul, we are a spark of God with the creative powers of God to be able to, to be able to leave the physical body like a bird hovering above, and that we have the ability to be this vehicle of spirit. Uh, that's different than, psychic healing is different than spiritual healing because in psychic healing, the person is steering it, but in spiritual healing, it's allowing divine spirit, the Varden, and Hure, God, to, to actually um, do the healing for it to come through. Entonces dice que realmente vino a entender ella que somos una chispa de Dios y que realmente venimos por parte de Dios a, a tener aquí un trabajo. Go ahead, please. What it part of the healing related to is is this light and sound uh, some people when they have near-death experiences will see an enormous light and hear sound and and the light and sound is healing the sound is like this returning wave that soul rides to return to god and the light is what illuminates and makes it visible understanding awareness wisdom but there are but in terms of healing there are different levels of healing um different different levels and the deeper level of healing comes from a much higher place uh there are a lot of people have an experience of heaven but they only experience what's called the astral plane or astral level but in in advanced out of body travel we learn that as soul there's much more there's the lower worlds or lower levels of heaven which are heavens of basically reincarnation and karma and then there's the higher pure positive god worlds which are the heavens where someone becomes liberated spiritually liberated and has knowingness a viewpoint of soul where you're beyond so beyond the body in a pure world of white light that goes on and on and you receive awareness total awareness 
Sí, entonces dice ella que eh, hay niveles muy, muy altos para estar en altos niveles de luz, pero también hay unos bajos niveles de, 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 de Dios. Entonces dice ella que ellos hicieron esta esta, tuvieron esta experiencia de liberación en altos niveles de cuerpos puros, muy puros. Go ahead, please. There, the lower worlds, such as when people have out-of-body experience and they project like a, a like a spark of light, soul. Uh, we don't do astral. I don't do astral travel. I do soul projection, and soul. It's different because the astral body only goes to the astral plane. Above the astral plane is the astral plane is a plane for psychics, uh, paranormal experience, ghosts. Then above that is another layer or level of heaven called the causal plane. And that is a plane of memory, the Akashic records, which are records of past lives. And also people can see the future prophecy. Above that is the mental plane, which is a plane where certain beings like Einstein and Tesla were able to project or, or visit, which uh, gave them a deeper level of awareness and then the causal, but those are all the lower worlds, even though they're brilliant he heavenly places, they are still places that soul is enslaved and not free. Um, oh, sorry, you can do that part. Okay, uh, sí, dice que hay personas que hacen viajes astrales, pero ellos no, ellos no hacen, ellos hacen una proyección del alma, entonces de esa manera pueden tener la oportunidad de de ver los, los registros akáshicos, que es la librería realmente del alma, y que solamente Einstein o Tesla pudieron llegar a esos altos niveles de la creación. Go ahead. And then the, uh, between, the, after the lower worlds, is sort of a dividing line, a void, a vast void. And above that is the pure positive God worlds, because in the lower worlds, it's, it's a mixture of matter, energy, time, and space. But in the God worlds, it's just pure spirit that goes on forever. There's the soul plane, which is the plane of pure soul, where a person experiences self-realization. And all of these planes, all of these experiences, the higher you get, the more you can have a sense of finding answers, finding guidance, and receiving knowingness so that when you encounter a problem that needs to be healed or a difficulty in life, a karmic situation or conflict with people or anything, you can find guidance by practicing soul or choose a travel. Sí, dice ella que en, en estas líneas, entre el, los niveles bajos y los niveles altos de Dios, pues ahí están el plan del alma. Entonces ahí se puede encontrar estas guías, este conocimiento, esta sabiduría. Y también eh, los que están en los bajos niveles, pues ven más el karma. Pero ellos están recibiendo más conocimiento. Go ahead, please. And also, we work with certain beings, certain elders who are very, very spiritually advanced. And they they have the ability, they are advanced oh, goodness, at the ability of out-of-body travel and ability to leave their physical bodies and dwell in these high, high heavens. And they have been practicing throughout history. I mean, I can give examples, but they help with healing. The current, for example, the current uh, being or el spiritual elder, spiritual Varden master, uh, what we call spiritual traveler, is, is what's called the living Varden master. And he helps individuals to be able to learn to, as well as I help individuals to learn to leave their bodies so that they can experience spiritual healing and also Uh, unfold spiritually. Entonces ese, ella dice que hay ciertos ancianos 
que tienen la habilidad de dejar su cuerpo y ellos ayudan con esta sanación espiritual. A ellos se les llama realmente unos viajeros espirituales y que vienen realmente allá a dar ayuda para sanación. Bajet, please. Uh, so, just for example, some people have seen certain space, space opera films like, quote, Star Wars, George Lucas. And, and he, there's a portrayal of sort of like a figure that's like a master who appears to the student as a hologram, like a three-dimensional hologram, like a visual projection of the master that he communicates with. Some people in New Age are, are familiar with this kind of reality, but it's, it's not just based on fiction. I mean, there are probably a lot of people listening to this that have experiences related to that. But these different Varden masters, they appear to the students in this way and will help them with healing. There was one uh, student who shared, this is just an example, of how he was in the inner worlds and passing through like a, a jungle area that was very purple. And he'd walk through it. And then he saw a beautiful, after walking for quite a ways, he saw a beautiful glowing liquid light and the 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 Varden master there uh his name was Yabul Sakabi I don't know if you can see that um that that Yabul Sakabi and and my former husband Alan G met him out of body and then he began to have this experience of having this liquid light glowing liquid light radiant white poured through the top of his head. Sorry, that was me. Oh, you can sí, entonces dice que, que un um, estudiante tuvo este parte de compartir con ellos el que fue a bajos mundos y ahí encontraron selvas maravillosas y vio un reflejo de luz muy grande y, y vieron a este maestro que muestro en la pantalla ahora brillando de luz y, y con una gran chispa en, en su aura. Go ahead, please. And um, he experienced with this, he experienced profound healing and a feeling like he was missing home and it was like home was being poured through him. And it was profoundly healing and enlightening. It was like these Varden masters, they have a deep level of wisdom and love and freedom. And they can project and they know how to be a pure channel of God for spiritual healing. And a lot of the students I work with will work with these Varden masters related to healing on different levels and getting guidance for steps they need to take also. Entonces dice que él está él experimentó una gran sanación y que sintió como extrañaba su casa original. Entonces que estos maestros son de gran luz y de amor, de un amor muy puro y, y que siempre trabajan para la sanación Spiritual in different niveles. Go ahead, please, Heather. Okay. And throughout throughout history, uh, this practice of out of body soul projection in this particular way has been practiced for eons. But <laughs> not not all of these masters are known. Some of them are hidden, but some are well known. Uh, that practice this throughout history, such as, for example, uh, Plato. Uh, Plato was one such master. He talked about a bird, uh, how as a bird flying free through the sky, he was using analogies for out-of-body soul pro projection. And he had, I remember past life studying with Plato, he had students who he used the Socratic method to try to get them out of their mind, think, trying to decipher things or, or discern things with their mind, but tune into pure soul and learn to leave their body. 
and he secretly met with more advanced students uh, where not everybody was, his deeper teachings were more secretive and people had to pass certain tests. Oops, sorry. Okay. Uh, Pledo, el, la persona que vemos aquí en la pantalla es un maestro muy, muy grande y es como un ave que hace que es, ellos entren en unos niveles muy altos de vibración y los estudiantes eh, salen de su mente para realmente usar únicamente su espíritu que es muy puro. Go ahead. Um, another, var uh, another Varden master from long ago was Pythagoras. And Pythagoras, likewise, he, he trained students to leave their physical body, which is why he had this deep knowledge of certain mathematical understandings related to cosmology and other things because he left his physical body. And, and he also uh, taught students a great deal about spiritual healing. Hay otro maestro que es Patágoras y que eh, realmente da una gran uh, teoría de todo lo que es la cosmología y realmente está en unos niveles muy, muy altos de vibración. Go ahead, Heather, please. So different foreign masters have uh, existed throughout history. Um, but related to, <laughs> related to what I was saying before about the different levels of heaven, uh, there, there are these different levels, like I was saying before, the, the pure positive God worlds and then the lower worlds. And one of the things that I've experienced myself to kind of illustrate about the because some some people have spoken about how they they've had a near death experience or they've experienced astral projection, but they don't understand the difference between soul projection for healing. And to illustrate that, I can give an example. Uh, I believe I I shared this <laughs> yesterday. Um, I once had this experience where I was at a convention center, and my heart was so filled with love and appreciation for all the people there that just all of this sudden i just felt myself as soul at the top of the ceiling it was sort of like almost a hundred feet up and i had this bird's eye view of this entire auditorium filled with people and down below i saw myself my body sitting in the chair and as soul I was up in the ceiling and it was shocking and what was even more shocking was when I looked down I saw that it was not just my body in the chair but there were several bodies hovering above that body and it was startling so right above my physical body that was sitting in the chair was another body it was composed of more light but it looked like me it was the astral body which most people are familiar with. But above that was another body that was even finer, more spirit, less matter, the causal body. Uh, causal relates to the level of heaven that is the Akashic records, which means like uh, people that have the ability to see past lives or the records of their past or, or future. So I saw the causal body. And then above that body was another glowing body. And that was the mental body, which is even finer, more spirit, made of more light. And, and then above that, the etheric and then soul, pure soul, which is just a spark of God. And so I looked below me and I saw these five, you know, there were these five bodies and I was shocked. So, seeing that and then immediately i don't know if you've ever seen those russian dolls where one doll fits in the next fits in the next i suddenly was shocked and then one body went into the next went into the next went to the next and boom i was in my chair again like startled <laughs> but okay thank you <laughs> uh, dice que estuvo en una convención y entonces en esa convención eh, ella se sintió eh, realmente que entró en unos niveles de conciencia muy, muy altos 
que estaba más o menos a 100 pies de altura, que ahorita no tengo a la mano cuánto es en kilómetros, que ella veía su cuerpo a 100 pies de altura, entonces veía la proyección de su, de su alma y estaban todos los otros cuerpos, pero esto es en, en estos cinco cuerpos eh, estaban de alguna manera como en pisos. Entonces se eh, habla todo de, de esta cuestión de los registros akáshicos que como ya mencionamos son la biblioteca del alma. Go ahead, please. Thank you. So I was sitting in my chair and and that just sort of illustrates how that illustrates how as as soul we have these different bodies or levels of that correspond to different levels of heaven. But the lower, the lower little self and the lower bodies are limited to the lower worlds. And when and we can project a soul as soul as a pure spark of God into these God worlds where there's self and God realization, there is where the goal is to become more of a master, a spiritual master, where where you have a deeper insight into the secret reasons why illness why a person has illness in the, in the first place and they're able to heal on all levels with psychic healing and physical healing it's only healing on one or two levels and so the he, the illness tends to come back because it's not fully healed but it's very yeah, okay. oh, i'm sorry que está estando ella sentada en esa silla en la convención pudo ver eh, cómo estos cinco cuerpos se proyectaban. Entonces, hay diferentes niveles de conciencia. Entonces, ahí ve que es la realización de Dios, la realización del Padre. Entonces, cuando una persona solamente tiene curación en uno o dos de los cuerpos, no es suficiente para tener una sanación total. Go ahead, please. Go ahead. So, what it is, um, when you when you well, an example of that is th this light and sound, this fart and divine spirit. It's it's bard and it's God's voice. And when we when we learn to leave the body, the physical body, we learn about healing on a deeper level. We learn about the secret reasons why we have certain illnesses, which are kind of can be surprising. Entonces dice que, sí, claro. Entonces dice que este es un espíritu divino que es la voz de, de Dios, la voz del Padre. Entonces, para, para sanar en un nivel realmente de, de un nivel alto de conciencia, go ahead. There are, you could say, throughout my life, and I've found also with my husband, that there are hidden spiritual reasons why we have certain illnesses. For example, I believe he once shared that that if there was a woman who had a certain disease, say, for example, cancer, and she may have, before this incarnation, before this lifetime, she may have chosen to have cancer for a spiritual reason. I'm just saying this particular case, that, that maybe it was to have a near-death experience or to suddenly more deeply desire a relationship with God. So for example, she may have had a near-death experience and it may have motivated her to, instead of being materialistic, connect more deeply with God. So trying to heal the cancer or pray for her or a certain method might not be, might not always be the most effective when it doesn't get into the secret or hidden reasons behind certain illnesses like that for example entonces dice ella que por ejemplo una persona que puede venir con una enfermedad eh, como el cáncer eh, habla de que hay esta relación con Dios y que tiene que ver con vidas anteriores y no es eh, myself, lo más efectivo an example of that for myself is 
Ella, ella tiene... Do you, do you have any illness? Do you have any illness or um, something? Actually, no, I'm talking about something in the past. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, in the Entonces, past, dice, for example, en el pasado. My... Go ahead, sorry, sorry. Uh, there was one time where I had a very serious, a very serious illness with my lower back. Sí, dice que ella tuvo una, un problema muy serio con su espalda baja. Where, where I, I was, I was waiting at the bus stop in my 20s, hunched over, and there were 90-year-olds over. <laughs> and I, I realized at that point that I had, I had a problem that I had to handle. You can translate. Sí, entonces... Eh... Le dice ella que tuvo por muchos años un problema en la espalda baja, de que muchas veces ju jugaban y que tenían como esta parte de, de ponerle las manos en la espalda baja y que eso fue un problema muy, muy serio de salud para ella. Go ahead, I, I suffered with it for years and I went to chiropractors and different kinds of healers, doctors, nothing worked. But at one point when I was a high school English teacher, uh, teaching in front of a, a class of uh, middle school children, and I was in agony. I would lean over my desk in pain, <laughs> holding onto it. Um, I got very little sleep and, and I wasn't paid for three months. So I barely ate just like uh, 25 cent chips because I couldn't afford anything. And And I barely drank water, but I, I put all this work into my into my job and I became even worse with my spine and pain. And one day I went to a masseuse who supposedly was going to help, but after seeing him, he just he just rubbed out the parts that that were in my spine that were holding my spine up straight. And so at that point, the scoliosis and the degeneration of my back like got 10 times worse and i i look i looked in the mirror and i said oh my god i look like a pretzel <laughs> like a pretzel you can translate that sure entonces dice que ella cuando tuvo ese dolor fue a médicos quiroprácticos a sanadores y en la escuela preparatoria estaba en agonía realmente, no dormía muy poco, eh, realmente tomaba muy poca agua y esto pues le duró más o menos tres meses y fue peor cada vez. Entonces decidió ir a tomar un masaje porque descubrió que tenía una escoliosis y, y fue diez veces peor todavía lo que le sucedió al ir a esta terapia. Go ahead. And it, I was in tremendous pain. I was in agony. It felt like being in an operation without any anesthesia. And there was never any relief. It was just agony day and night. And I, I took no painkillers. Um, so I, I went to temporarily like with my mother. But I started to do inner practices, spiritual practices. And then all of a sudden, it was like the divine spirit, <laughs> the Varden made certain situations in my life appear or come to me, um, such as a friend who I hadn't spoken to in years suddenly called me out of nowhere and invited me to Missouri uh, to work with a, a an advanced chiropractor, uh, biocranial, certain techniques and things like that. And so I went, sorry, you can translate that. <laughs> sure. Entonces dice que siguió ella muy mal, estaba realmente en agonía y que no quiso tomar pastillas para el dolor. Entonces ella se, se trasladó temporalmente con su mamá y empezó prácticas espirituales, experiencias espirituales y encontró finalmente a alguien que le hiciera una terapia sacrocraneal. Go ahead. And, 
And so I finally, I, I went to, in a wheelchair to the airport. And when I arrived in Missouri, uh, I, <laughs> I, uh, I didn't walk in his office. I slid across the floor into his office because <laughs> I couldn't walk. And, uh, oh, I forgot to mention the doctor that I went to that took x-rays prior to this told me that that what happened to me, there was nothing he could do about it. Uh, that there was nothing he could do about it, that um, I would either be that way the rest of my life, or I, I could, or I had, or the only option I had was to get a surgery but I had inner guidance, spiritual guidance, that that would be a mistake, that I would be hurt too badly. So anyway, I went to Missouri, slid in his office, and he said that I was the worst case that he had ever seen, that he began to do certain te holistic techniques with me and chiropractic and diet. But after several months, nothing worked. So he said his surgeon friend said that I should get bed rest for one year, that that might have a chance. And so I began a process to heal on all levels at that point. Uh, physically, I changed my diet and and did different things with nutrition, such as flaxseed oil, raw foods, uh, intensive colloidal minerals, body electronics. Uh, Emotionally, I did healing. Causally, the causal plane, which are uh, the Akashic records, I did too. I saw past lives, why I had this experience from past lives. In a past life, I, I saw that I was a medieval knight uh, with a blonde hair and a, uh, riding on a horse. And I was always engaged in, in, in battle. And at... Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't stop for you to translate. You can translate. Yeah, it's okay. Entonces dice que llegó en una silla de ruedas, eh, eh, pero antes de eso, dice que fue a un doctor y le tomó rayos X y le dijo el doctor que nada podía hacer por ella. Entonces, posteriormente se trasladó a Missouri en una silla de ruedas, la llevaron. Y era el, el quiropráctico, le dijo que era el caso más horrible que, que podía ver él. Entonces el quiropráctico la puso en una dieta eh, alrededor de un año y estuvo en este proceso de sanación. Empezó a tomar también aceite de linaza, minerales. Y esto eh, también, la cuestión emocional, a sanarla a través de los registros akáshicos. Y ahí, en sus pasadas vidas, ella vio que había sido una mujer que, con el cabello rubio y que iba en un caballo. Go ahead, please. And uh, I was a medieval knight, and I would get in all of these skirmishes, these battles, and... And at one point I faced a, a knight who was like a big burly knight and he had this large wrecking ball and he whacked it in my back. But it wasn't really him. It was rather um, later on, uh, I re if a psychic looked at me, they would see like, why do you have this big hole near your back? <laughs> and what that really was, and it caused like future lives of problems with my back. What that really was, was spiritually the spiritual reason for that condition was that as an individual i a part of me didn't trust the universe and didn't trust god it's sort of like the back is a support of the body it holds it up it holds it together it's a support and so because i i didn't trust the universe and god i had that condition and once once i healed my attitude and believe that I really truly believed and trusted that God has my back, so to speak, that the condition sí. also, that was a level of healing. Entonces dice ella que vio todos sus karmas, todas sus batallas, y que tuvo realmente experiencias de las vidas pasadas muy fuertes en donde parecía que tuviese un agujero en la espalda, y entonces eh, realmente eh, vino ese rayo espiritual 
porque ella no creía en Dios, ella no creía en el universo. Y entonces también ella tuvo un cambio de actitud, una sanación en su actitud. Go ahead, please. So that's, you could say that's on the causal level, the Akashic Records, that is sort of like a hidden reason behind the illness was my not, my not trusting the, the universe and God. And then on, on the next level, on the mental level, I realized that I had, I had that bad habit of, you know, like of conditioning myself to believe something negative like that. So I had to do a form of not negative mind control, but spiritual mind control where you gain control of your reality and have a more positive attitude. So it's like healing on all these different levels physical with nutrition and minerals and bed rest, uh, astral, healing my emotional body, causal, realizing the past life, hidden spiritual reason for it, and mental, changing my bad habits of thinking and being positive. So like instead of, instead of ex being worried and negative and angry about the situation i would instead take control and have a positive attitude that that i am healed and that i am better and that i am supported by the universe so all these different levels able to do this because as pure soul as pure soul when i project as pure soul i'm able to see a larger picture and and or or students are able to work with these different masters that will help them to learn sort of like the basics of healing on these di on different levels sorry you can translate it's okay uh, entonces dice ella que estuvo tomando minerales y realmente revisando mucho sus hábitos y todas las situaciones de vidas pasadas porque siempre pasaba preocupada negativa con una actitud muy enojada y cambió su actitud a positiva y sentía como el universo realmente la estaba apoyando y que le estaba diciendo que ella era un alma pura. Entonces, eh, los estudiantes que pueden trabajar con eso pueden transformar su vida. Go ahead, please. So, as soul, we're, we are this spark of God, like a spark that comes from God where we are we have this enormous potential and creativity and out of body travel is is sort of a way for soul to to be able to get a bird's eye view and be able to see things from a higher perspective so instead of looking at my life with human eyes from the human reality or perspective when i'm able to project a soul or a student in barden car is able to project a soul, they're able to get above the problem and and work with these different these different ancient masters, these uh, God realized masters or teachers to learn basic things like how to how to leave the physical body and, and project to these different planes, the, both the lower worlds where they can go to temples of golden wisdom and the pure positive God worlds, where they can have these ex experiences of these different levels of heaven. Sorry, you can translate. Sure. Entonces dice ella que nosotros somos una chispa de Dios, que tenemos un enorme potencial, una gran creatividad, y que somos como unas aves, eh, viendo su vida en la realidad y en la proyección de su alma, de su pura alma, trabaja ella con estos maestros, Bardankar, con roles positivos y diferentes niveles de cielo. Go ahead, please. So, what, what we do is, to learn this process, usually students will study discourses written by the master each month and they'll practice certain spiritual exercises to learn to do out of body travel and one of one of the facets there are different facets 32 facets is the ability 
spiritual healing. And the beginning level of that is learning to work with the masters for these masters for spiritual healing, that students will meet them in certain temples of golden wisdom, such as Asclepiosis, which is a palace of light on the astral plane, where certain students will meet the God-realized master there, Gopal Das, who was a master during ancient Egypt. And they will receive sort of like inner training, training in this temple of wisdom of certain, they may, for example, if the topic is spiritual healing, they will study and work with him on that. You can translate. Oh, wait, let me... sure. Entonces, ella dice que eh, eh, es un tremendo proceso de sanación espiritual, pero que se tienen que llevar a cabo ejercicios para tener la habilidad de sanación espiritual, que estos maestros de sanación están en un plano astral y que es un gran entrenamiento que, que se debe de, de adquirir. Go ahead, please. In one of the things in out-of-body travel, when you, for example, project to the pure positive God worlds, such as the soul plane or the hook a cat lock, they're just planes of pure light, pure spirit, and you experience yourself as this pure spirit with not no physical body, no astral body, just pure spirit. And in that state, you you can access certain awareness that you can work on things in terms of spiritual healing, but especially in accompaniment with these different Varden masters. But <laughs> in terms of, how can I put it? In terms of a, the, the process, it's like anything. Everything takes time to learn. You know, uh, if somebody is riding a bike for the first time, it takes time to to practice so that you the, the child doesn't fall down but the more they practice the better they get at it and so sometimes when people start it takes a period a learning curve <laughs> to get it sí entonces dice que esta vez para para realmente tener una proyección del plan del alma que es una vida pura un espíritu puro en un estado de despertar y trabajar con esto para con estos maestros en términos de tiempo de aprender y de practicar y es como cuando un niño se cae el niño aprende y se aprende a levantar go ahead please and and I'd say that as pure soul as pure soul this this unlimited God spark that you are we can project And it's sort of like, it's different. The human self or the human body, that's not who we truly are. Like the lower body, the physical body, our jobs, other relationships we have, that's the human self. But as pure soul, it's sort of like, as a person, we're unlimited. And we have, and when we do out of body travel, we're able to get out of the body and see almost like a bird, a bird's eye view. And we can see a larger picture of, of our health, of our relationships, of every aspect of our lives that's uh, a deeper level. And these different masters also work with the individual and help them to, to actually sort of like learn a spiritual curriculum. <laughs> it's like there's, there's spiritual kindergarten and then there's first grade second grade, third grade, and so on. And you get to these more and more advanced levels until the person reaches self-realization, God-realization, and becoming a spiritual Varden master themselves. But just like going through elementary school and middle school and high school, it takes time. It can take five to 15 years to reach self-realization by doing out-of-body travel and learning certain healing things too. And it can take uh, anywhere from 15 to 35 years uh, or more to reach mastership, God realization and mastership, which... Can, you learn can, about I, can I translate, please? Yes, sorry, sorry. Thank you. 
Entonces dice ella que todo este trabajo, porque en el mundo físico vivimos ocupados en el trabajo, en nuestro diario vivir, pero que realmente eh, todos somos un alma pura, somos unos cuerpos viajantes y, y pueden ver esta película de su vida, de cómo la han llevado hasta ahora. Entonces hay diferentes maestros, ellos trabajan con todos los niveles, desde el nivel de kinder, desde primer grado, segundo grado, y dice ella que lleva de 15 a 35 años llevarse a cabo esto. Yeah, you are right. I have more than 35 years walking in, in the spiritual ways. Wow, And it's yes. true. It's you are true. learning. Yes, it, it's so helpful because any, yeah. any challenge that you have in your life, any health condition, <laughs> anything you can work with on out of body travel and you can work with these advanced beings and it helps tremendously. You can translate, sorry. Sí. Entonces dice ella que todos estos retos en la vida, todas estas batallas que se han tenido, pues sirven para ir a ir creciendo. Go ahead, so, so good health a lot of it, a lot of having good health for me, I've experienced sometimes enormous emergencies with my health or my husband's health because my husband had late stage heart failure. And one of the reasons why he was able to stay alive a lot longer was because we knew about out-of-body travel and spiritual healing and, and able to heal on many different, many different levels. There were sometimes doctors would say to him things like, how are you still alive? <laughs> you see, he extended his life many times when he probably should have died many years ago. And it was because it was because of out of body travel and because of healing on different levels. And the same with myself. Good health. Some of it has to do with understanding how karma works, cause and effect. And that can be seen with the these um, akashic or or akashic records on the causal plane and the soul records in the god worlds. But out of body travel, it, it being able to understand that related to healing, it's more or less developing a sense of knowingness. And knowingness is different than intuition. Knowingness is like as pure soul. Your true self, a spark of God. Knowingness is where you just a part of you, a soul is is there. Like you can trap a part of you. It's like when somebody calls you on the telephone, and before they the phone even rings, you know that they're calling. How do you know that? Because a part of you, a soul, is there with them. That a, <laughs> that literally, it's like a knowingness where you already know something without researching it, without thinking about it with your mind, because as soul, you're there, you're unlimited, you're like the spark of God. And being able to project that way, you're able to find answers to concerns in life. You're able to solve different problems that normally would be a mystery such as what I said about the past life where I was a knight. But if, if I was just coming to heal myself from the human consciousness or the psychic consciousness, I wouldn't have known that my, my back injury was because of a past life as a knight where, where I had that condition because I didn't trust the universe or God, that had I not known that and just healed it, it would have come back later. Uh, because I didn't heal the real hidden reason, the spiritual reason behind it. And you can translate that, sorry. Sure, sure, sure. Dice entonces que el viaje del cuerpo, pues nos va mostrando más o menos esta parte de intuición, porque somos unas chispas divinas de Dios. Entonces, eh, a veces puede, puede saber cuando, antes de que suene el teléfono, sabe que alguien va a llamar, o intuyes que algo va a suceder, entonces ustedes ya saben quién es esta parte de intuición porque tu alma está muy despierta, entonces tu alma es ilimitada, eres esa chispa 
y que debes de conocer. Tú sabes que conoces las respuestas de todos los problemas del pasado, de vidas pasadas. Entonces ella también se ha dado cuenta de, de por qué fue el problema de su espalda, por no confiar en el universo. Go ahead. One of, one of the goals in out-of-body travel is what I talked about with these grades, like kindergarten, first grade, second, is sort of like in the physical level, when a person has their first initiation, it means sort of like they have mastered the physical plane. The physical plane is composed of countless galaxies, universes, planets, and so forth. When they gain mastery, a certain level of mastery of that, they have their first initiation in foreign car. Then when they move to the second plane, uh, which is the astral plane, it's almost like having at astral mastery, gaining a certain level of being able to master more of the emotional body. And then the causal plane, people start to remember more of their past lives. And they may even see things from the future because there are the Akashic records. And when they, get a mastery of that, then they graduate there, and so forth, the mental plane, which is, you know, for example, uh, different beings like Tesla and Einstein visited those planes. Uh, you can translate, sorry, I forgot. Sure, it's okay. Entonces dice que primero es empezar por el kinder, para de esta manera, pues también poder tener esta, esta siguiente paso para entrar a la parte astral, que es en, en un plan de maestría y entonces ya se puede entrar a reconocer la cuestión de sus vidas pasadas a través de los re, este, registros akashicos. Go ahead, please. So if somebody has more mastery of these different planes or levels of heaven, then in a sense they're also able to gain mastery related to healing for themselves. Um, where they're able to know how to heal their physical body, their astral body, their causal body, their mental body, etheric and soul. And, and then when they reach into the God worlds, the pure positive God worlds, it's a, a level of spiritual mastery where as soul, they reach self-realization and God realization. But at that point, they have more of a ability related to healing. And before that, <laughs> I used to call my husband and I, when people would first start to study out of body travel, um, <laughs> when, when they'd first start to study out of body travel, they were sort of like, when someone is starting as a child, a baby, they don't fully have their senses developed, such as they're just learning to use their, their voice. They're learning to use their senses of sight and hearing and learning to walk. And so when somebody is first learning out of body travel, they're a little bit like a baby. <laughs> so my husband and I used to joke that there were our Chila, meaning student, Chila babies. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I go to translate because it's almost done your time. But we see what the organizer said. Dice que sí, que es una maestría para, para sanarse a sí mismo ¿no? y sanar sus cuerpos mentales, causales, el cuerpo físico. Y para llegar a esta maestría, pues hay que tener más habilidad de sanación, más viajes de sanación. Eh, el esposo de ella escuchaba, sentía, tenía muchas percepciones. Entonces, pues es un viaje, un recorrido largo. Eh, ¿Cómo vamos con el tiempo, por favor, al profesor Dante y Susi? Sí, sí, ya estamos casi culminando. Eh, como es la última ponencia, podemos un poquito de repente pasarnos, digamos. Sí, sí, es que yo tengo paciente, pero bueno, me, me este, a ver, go ahead, please, you have something else to, to share? Um, well, <clears throat> the, the main thing is that um, it, I'm grateful to be here and um, it's, it's a great blessing to meet all of you and this beautiful, beautiful sound. Uh, your, your sound. 
I, I know not... that, that they're all here for a reason. Oh, I'm your, sorry. Your internet okay. is no well. Um, I'm sure. Well, I, I just wanted to say it's a blessing to be here. And out of body travel, it's a great, great a gift and blessing from God, from Hugh Ray. And it makes a, from my own experience, spiritual healing is a magnificent thing, uh, especially because of the way having certain healing experiences have taught me so much as so. Thank you. Dice que es una gran experiencia estar aquí, que, que es una gran oportunidad para ella expli explicar aquí su experiencia, cómo puede ella expresar su propia experiencia. Entonces, yo creo que ya terminamos. Está muy mal su internet ahorita. Do you have any, you know, you don't have, you don't have any, any social media? Do you want to put yes. your social media? Yes. Do you want to uh, put your social media in the chat or something? Sure. Sure. It's, uh, let me see here. <laughs> where's the chat? Oh, let's see. Where is the chat? The chat is in your left. I think on your right. But you need to put it in the in the screen. Hold on one second, I'm looking for it right now. Sure. Okay. Okay, so let me do that right here. Hold on one second. Sure. Patricia, dígame. De, re de repente podemos ya despedirnos. Este, Heather, Tenemos ¿no? una pregunta. Al sí, sí. Ya puso ella, eh, ya, ya puso ella su canal de YouTube ahí en el chat. Yes. And this is my website. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you for everything. Thank you for all your words and for sharing with us.